Here we are, breaking records again at the Born a Musician, second show of the second season. I'm Captain Hook, along here with John Seda. What's up, buddy? Well, you know how it is, brother. Continuously breaking glass. We're breaking glass as it goes every day. Yes, constant, constantly breaking records. But anyway, you know, i, I got to say, uh, I had the pleasure the other night, Friday night, of seeing you play live with uh, the Harold Jones Band, and it was great, man. If anybody out there, go see the Harold Jones Band. Go to haroldjones.com, haroldjonesband.com, and uh, find out what the, where their dates are, and go see John Seda, the angry rocker. Tear it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Thanks, t- thank you, Captain Hook. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> it was fantastic, boy. And uh, we were uh, went to a little place called Koozies up in Thonatasassa, and a uh, nice little place, and uh, people were so friendly in there. And uh, Very we, nice place. Really yeah, great. we had a great time. you got to come up on your mic, John. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Now, if you, there you go. If you're talking into it, you're good. All right, so anyway, so that's what's, what happened this week, and uh, we had a, a great show last week with Harold and Andre. and uh, Yeah, that was awesome. Del, uh, Del Reese. Oh, man, that was awesome. And a lot of people uh, got a lot of good feedback from that show. I want to say something because I didn't say this last week. So she's listening. I want to sh- give a shout out to Gloria, one of uh, Harold Jones's uh, Two, fans. There you go. Oh, great, Gloria. Okay. Well, you know, as I saw the other night, Harold Jones has lots of fans out there. And a uh, good time was had by all. And it goes from singing us maybe some slow country western type tunes to really rocking it and uh john got a little crazy the other night put the guitar down on one of the tables and just started uh fingering it picking away doing some Finger pulling it. <laughs> <laughs> and doing some pulling off and doing some crazy stuff with the guitar it's just like the old days playing it with his teeth playing it behind his back you know, the whole thing was going on. So let me tell you, if you get a chance, go see the Harold Jones Band. Go to haroldjones.com, the haroldjonesband.com. Why do I keep missing that? But uh, And go check it out and see their dates because it is something to see the great John Sato whale with these guys. And how about the bass player, Mike? Uh, what's Michael Mike's last name? J. Calabrese. Calabrese. He's awesome. Yeah, yeah he's. I love to put playing with him because he's all over the place, and I'm glad he's not one of those stiffs, you know. Right. Well, he's a Fort Lauderdale boy like me. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. He's he's a very cool guy. Great bass player, and he moves, and it's always smiling all the time. It's just it's wonderful. Yeah, and I'm telling you what, it, it's just a great show. And my wife wouldn't. I was going to leave like second or third set. You know, I figured okay. And she goes, no, 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 no. They wanted to. St- she should have stayed till three o'clock in the morning if you guys would have kept playing. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, it it was a lot of fun. It That's was a lot of Marilyn. Thank you, Marilyn. Yeah. We love you, Marilyn. Yeah, my sweet Marilyn. She's uh, she loved it. She loved every bit of it. So anyway, and I did too. And it was a, you know the crowd got enthused about it, and that there was that one old guy that was up there dancing. Oh, he dances awesome. Oh. Oh, I'm, I'm telling you, I've got the video. I'm going to put it up on our Facebook page. 
I just haven't got around to it yet, but I'm going to put it up, and, and, and it's hysterical. The guy got you know, down on the ground and started doing the worm no, he, and the whole bit. You know, he was a professional dancer. Yeah. I spoke to him the, the, the first time we were there, and he was really cool about it. And, he, you know, he asked me for a card, you know, so, so he could let him know when they're going to be playing again. But he actually was a professional dancer, and you can tell, right? right. I mean, look at, you know, for the age he has. I mean, he was, like, dancing like somebody young. I mean, it was right. unbelievable. So you guys played uh, Saturday night also. Yeah, we were at Santa Ana Liquors, uh, uh, you know, and um, it was a really good gig. Uh, Minnie was there. Who was going to be on with us a little bit? Oh, yeah. Minnie yeah. Diaz is going to be with us yeah, in the seg- next us. segment. She's and a beautiful uh, woman. She's right next to us. Everybody's like, they can't contain themselves. That's right. Well, you'll see pictures <laughs> of, of Minnie Diaz. We'll post them. And uh, <laughs> and she is a, a, an advocate and a, for uh, musicians and for pretty much... Uh, Anybody that's in the minority, the minorities of the minorities, that's the way I'd like to put it. And uh, she's an advocate for all those people out there. So, But we're going to focus on musician and let her talk about some other stuff, too. But that's uh, that'll be coming up at uh, our second segment after our 20-minute break. And... Uh, and then we got some other stuff going on. We're getting ready to shoot a video. I understand. Yeah, we're gonna do the. We're gonna actually do several videos. We're we're talking about several projects now. I mean, it's 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 amazing. It's a lot of stuff is on the table, and we have a short period of time to do it. But we'll you know we'll do it. And um, so we're looking at uh, you know Harold Jones the no 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 video. Right. We have a secret thing that's coming out uh, about give me some money, but I'm not going to talk anymore no, about that. No, no, no. <laughs> See, I knew you couldn't g- go without mentioning that. I was going to say. <laughs> that's a plug, though. It's a plug. That's right. right. It's a tease. That's what that is. That's right. a tease. Yeah. We have uh, Dora Lise Roman. Uh, she's going to come and sing a song. Right. Uh, she's actually going to record uh, later on tonight. Um, we're looking at uh, Joey Jam with a song called No Parking Spaces. Cool. And that came out really nice with a singer named Aisha. Um, we're looking at Roger James also, yeah, and um, and it's gonna it's, you know it's really cool about all these projects that they are all different, but everybody knows each other, so it's like one big family, and it's that's that's yeah. I'm really proud of that, and it's because you know, it's a lot of these you know talented people working together, and we got the same spirit, and it just makes the spirit even stronger. And you mentioned Roger James, and Roger James, if anybody knows, and everybody should know that he is a, a Native American actor. And plays in a lot of different roles on uh, TV and movies. And uh, he's going to be with us in the second hour. So we're looking forward to that. Roger yeah. was with us the other night over at Koozie's watching you play. And, boy, we were we were having a ball. It was yeah, really It was good. a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. And, then it's, and we got some gigs next week. I don't have it on my list right now, but I will announce it later on. All right. All right. Well, that's great. That's great, and then there's a couple other surprises that are coming up. I've got a big pop coming off of this thing. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, because you're you're pronouncing your P's. Yeah, I'm hitting a P. <laughs> I'm pee peeing. You know? <laughs> Hope I don't pee pee in my pants. <laughs> you got to do like this when you say. You got to look to the side. I'm we trying to do pop. this visual. I'm realizing yeah. I'm on radio. You can't see it. That's right. That's right. Well, just kind of imagine somebody with a nervous twitch. Just kind of every time right, they right. they got to say a P, you got to just point the other direction but i'd like to say something too you know sure. born a musician radio is about you know supporting artists sure. and supporting up-and-coming artists absolutely uh, teaching you know young people that are that love music how to make money in music and you know to do positive things and to support them and because you know it's very difficult when you you know it's a very it's you know how, how hard it is to do it and it's not it's not easy there's a lot of hours going into practicing and to, you know to development and all the stuff and so we're we're behind you we're yeah behind you. That's it, what we, it's hard all about. it's hard to get the cohesion of a band to come together first getting the band together then get them all to practice and then coming up with a product to where you can go out and actually you know get a paying gig and be good enough and please the crowd and then they ask you to come back that's the main thing that's that's the that's the best part right you know that's yeah the best part. and all these places that you guys are playing at now the these are repeat performances that you guys play out reg- regularly, right, right? And so, yeah, we're yeah, we've got uh, quite a few, and um, and I'm excited about. It. I love playing with Harold. It's a lot of fun, and I get to be, you know, I get to be me. If you know what I'm talking about, right? So, so it's it's just a lot of, and I and I express that to other artists too that come. Um, we've got a gentleman with us in in the audience, C.J. Anderson. He's like, we're gonna do an internship with us, and we're gonna do whatever we can to help him, you know, get his uh, get his career going on. That's good. That's good. We got an intern in here helping you out now. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, it helps to have, you know, young guys that start out as roadies. And then, you know what I mean? It's well, like. You got to start you know, somewhere. And that's right. And you know, it's just getting the cables and everything in the right place and learning it. That's a, that's a big part of this. Right. I mean, you know, 
a lot of people can come down and twist the knobs and do stuff like that. But the hard work and really the grunt work and 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 we all have to do it still yeah, is say, is moving equipment around right. and, and plugging the cables in. I mean, even to do this radio show is basically as a remote up here in uh, at Rising Sun Studios in Tampa. We have to move a lot of equipment in and out to. Uh, well, you, do you know, the you show. hear a lot of famous people talk about this, uh, where they say it's the shows are the easy part. You know, it's the it's the in betweens that you know the stuff that happens in between from one show to the other that's that's difficult. You right. Know? Right. Well, what what what's that sound? What is that sound? What is? That? Oh, I don't. Know. Are you kidding me? <laughs> hey, oh my, oh my lord! Look hey, who it is. Let me tell you something, Steve. What? I, I told you the last time you had me on your show. I told you I'd be back with a Pegasus, baby. I told you I got frequent flyer mileage. I come from Tahita Ha, baby. Tahita Ha. You know that's right. That's right. Yeah. Where's Tahita Ha? You know it's come it's, it's it's a wait 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 a minute. I'm blind. Don't push me. I'm scared. <laughs> you know you gotta you gotta go. It's north of Barbados, south of Canada. It's a, yeah, wait, wait, right here. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm a little disoriented. That's right. You can't see how far the I mic is away. You know, I know what? I, I feel the force. Let me tell you something. You feel the farts. I don't know what I feel anymore. <laughs> oh, the force. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Uh-oh. Listen, it's south of Barbados, north of Canada. And if you can't find it, uh, yeah. Yeah. the west of Atlantis, you know, that's right, baby. I was testing out who now, remembers. Now, what is the story I hear? That uh, you you say you have frequent flyer miles. How come that you were seen getting off the auto train in Sanford this week? <laughs> you know what happened, Orlando? Orlando <laughs> is so mean to me. He always wants to play hide and seek. He's been doing it since he was a kid. You know what happened is my Pegasus had a rough landing in New Jersey, and uh, you know he was like, you know, he didn't feel comfortable me flying it, so he, he he stuffed my horse. He stuffed my horse, poor horse with wings. He stuffed it in the back of his Dodge Neon. He has no respect. <laughs> so what happened was he bought tickets. We we shoved we shoved my Pegasus. He had I had to pay two fees. <laughs> he put it in the auto train, and I was like, no, I want to fly. You he put it in the auto train. I didn't know they'd let you put a horse, a flying horse, on a train. You I know what? Yeah, that's what I said, and he was like, no, no. We he put it in a box, I think. And <laughs> Drew wheels on it. <laughs> well, you know, we were talking to Roger James. He says he's going to help you take care of it, you know, because he he like he like takes care of horses and stuff like that. But so, yeah. are, you, are you okay with him taking care of your Pegasus? You know, let me tell you something. If Roger, if Roger takes care of horses, he better understand my horse has wings, baby. It has wings. You better take care of those wings. He's an angel. He's beautiful. He's he's big. He's so big. You freak with flying mileage. <laughs> Let's see Continental pull that off. Yeah. So what they do, basically, uh, so Orlando took you to, to, you thought you was going to the airport, and you ended up in Sanford, Florida, on the, uh, s- sitting on the back it of a was, train? It was so scary, because I thought he was taking me to the runway in, in North Liberty, and it, dis- it didn't turn out that way. I found, I heard a train. He drove, he drove all the way to Virginia, and uh, we got on the auto train, and I said, where's my, ho-? you know, where's my horse? And he was like, your Pegasus is in a box. And I put hay in it. Don't worry, he'll be fine. <laughs> and I said, how long is he going to be in a box? He's a Pegasus. <laughs> he said he's going to be there about 20 hours. He's going to be fine. Well, so what happened when you got to Sanford and you opened the box? and they get Let me tell you, my it. Pegasus was mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't let me touch him. I, I, was, I thought I was petting him, and it was a minivan. <laughs> I was so upset. He, he bucked me and everything. He was so mad. No, gosh. Uh, and well, then Orlando wanted to play hide-and-seek while we were waiting for his car to come out. Well, you know, speaking of Orlando, where is he? I don't know. I don't see him. You don't see what? <laughs> he always see, sometimes. Sometimes he likes to he likes to sit next to me and not talk. Yeah, just and to just to surprise you. He just watches me, and then he'll when I when I say I gotta go to the bathroom, it's very quiet. <laughs> and then when I try to stand up, he'll jump out and scare me. Oh. Hey, we're gonna have to have a talk to him. He makes me young sometimes with those scares. Oh, God. well, it's good. It's good you're back, Reggie. Thank you. I feel mm. good. I feel good, Reggie. It's great. It's great. Well, just go see if you can find. Go get your stick and beat around. Did you just say go see? <laughs> yeah, that's you're right. You're so cold blooded, <laughs> Steve. What's wrong with you? I'm, 
<laughs> no respect. <laughs> no respect, you young pups. No respect. <laughs> you know I'm 120. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. I stay young eating guava. Well, how would you know? You can't. You can't look in the mirror. Yeah. How do I look? <laughs> you. You look pretty good. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Yeah, that's right. It must be the guava. <laughs> that guava and even eating avocados. <laughs> avocados. <laughs> it makes you, you know, when you get up in this age, you need to eat high fibers. Yeah, I'm telling. I'm glad I wasn't sitting next to you on the train. I'll you know, that's that. right, baby. That boy <laughs> left me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Reggie. Well, we'll talk to you in a little while. Okay. <laughs> All right. Speaking of Orlando Martinez, our videographer. Been up in Newark, New Jersey for a while. Yes, indeed. We got some new news, and, and back in town in Orlando. It's great to see you again, buddy. Same here. It's great to be back. Great to see all, all my mentors. Yeah. Well, tell tell me about what what went on when you went back up there. Everybody wants to know what happened to you after the end of uh, last season. <laughs> we, they know you were heading back to Newark, and we were kind of concerned about you. No, no. I, I went back, and uh, <laughs> the moment I went back, I went into this very strict diet. Uh, since I'm since I'm Going back to my, my original craft of acting, I wanted to look good for camera. So, uh, you know, I started dropping a lot, a lot of weight. I dropped in total about 45 pounds. Um, and I'm looking, to, uh, I'm, I'm looking to drop is. maybe uh, another 10, 15 pounds more and start getting uh, hitting the weights a little harder, you know. You're going to look as good as me. I'm, t- <laughs> I'm trying. You're, I have a poster of you. <laughs> and it's in, my, it's in my gym. I have a yeah. little gym. Yeah. And I have it right there. And I go, one day... I'm going to beat Steve at arm wrestling. Yeah, yeah. no no problem there. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, uh, you know, it, it's it's just uh, I go back home and, and I, I came back with a lot of knowledge thanks to you guys. And, and I just went right back into auditions. I went right back, back into screenwriting. I, I, I started working and, and, you know, fixing up some, you know, learning new skills with, with directing and things like that. It's just a, a refreshed mind. That's right. Now you're back down here for a month, yes. and you're going to be doing some vi- more videos with us. Of course, right? Of course. And then, did you were you uh, training boxing when you were back up there? Yeah, I went back. I went back. You know, that's one of my that's one of my favorite favorite sports, and it's it's one of those things that once you learn the the training, and you know how effective it is, it's like, do I really want to go and, and you know play basketball all day when I could just hit the bag, get out some stress. Mm-hmm get in shape at the same time you know right and for everybody that uh has gone to born a musician and uh born a musician won the uh youtube channel yep. and go up there and you can pull up king of the sting the scorpion you can see uh orlando doing some shadow boxing in there and he, he's quite fast <laughs> quite fast hopefully i'm getting faster <laughs> yeah really Dropping some pounds that we'll was 45 ha- pounds heavier than we'll have to see yeah we'll have to see one more one more shot maybe in the, in uh in harold jones uh no, no, no music video, oh, right, which yeah. we'll start recording uh, probably by next week. Great. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Over at the Dollhouse. So yeah. We're going to be at the Dollhouse. Yes. I can't wait. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Old stomping ground. <laughs> <there now. laughs> fact, actually, I used to have a budget for that place years ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I keep finding more and more about you. <laughs> Last season, I, I, I found out you you know, you know played Superman one night and jumped off a building. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. A, Well, that was drinking uh, some other name brand tequila. <laughs> talk, was that know. the dollhouse? No, that was... Uh, that was <laughs> He's going to keep the name <laughs> to himself. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, that wasn't at the dollhouse. <laughs> he just had flashbacks. That was in. Uh, that was at the Pink Pussycat in Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> <laughs> Fashion. Yeah, it, 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 most people that know me know that story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. Guy jumps off a roof, you screaming, know, "I'm Superman!" That's right. But uh, we're not. You know, we're not promoting that kind of <laughs> that, that kind of behavior. But uh, you know, what else can you do? You know what I'm saying? Well, we got about another minute here before we got to take our break, and then coming up on the next segment is going to be Minnie Diaz is with us. We're looking forward to that. What a cutie, huh? Well, I tell you, she's beautiful. Yeah, she is. Yes, yeah, she is. She's what got a, a big smile. smile on her face. She's almost getting ready to cry. Yes, yeah, she she's is. blushing and. Yeah. Oh, what's going on there? Well, I sure hope she isn't one of those quiet types. You know what I mean? No, she's not. <laughs> <laughs> she's one word answer people. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. We got to carry the whole deal, and they just you know. Yeah. Fill in. <laughs> right, right. Like the one word answer people what you say, What's your name? M. That's right. <laughs> I said then you 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 have to be on the if you're gonna just have one word answers, you gotta be on with Margaret Nicoletti, the one word. The one with word. A, with Margaret Nicoletti. I just thought of that. Right. 
<laughs> but anyway, <anywho, laughs> let's see what we got here. We're good. We got about 15 seconds. But anyway, I just want to yell it out there, man. This is a great show. We got Roger James coming up. Minnie Diaz is next. And uh, you're listening to Born a Musician on WDBFRadio.com. Thank <laughs> you.